Hi everyone. Today we are going to see Kyox Monkey for Spring Boot. Inspired by Kyox Engineering at Netflix. Kyox Engineering is the discipline of experimenting on a distributed system in order to build confidence in the system's capability to withstand turbulent conditions in production. So this sentence we I took from principles of Kyox dot organization. Goal of Kyox Monkey. It will attack your running Spring Boot application. After writing many unit test cases and integration tests, your code coverage from 80 to 90. Still, you are thinking how your baby behaves in production. So, will our fallback work? How does the application behave with the network latency? What will happen if any one of our services break down? Service discovery works, but our client side load balancing is also working. So these are the questions are arise when we are in production. So these questions we will get a solution by using a Kyox monkey for Spring Boot. So how to add the Kyox monkey in your Spring Boot application? It's a very simple. We need to add the dependency in our pom dot example. If you are using Maven, if you are using Gradle, you have to add the Gradle dependency in build.gradle file and then how to run the Kyox monkey in Spring Boot. So you have to set the active profile as a Kyox monkey. Kyox monkey for Spring Boot versions will follow the versions of Spring Boot. The first two numbers of the Kyox monkey release will show you which is the right one of your Spring Boot version. If you are running Spring Boot 1.5.x series, you have to use the Kyox Monkey for Spring Boot 1.5x. If you are using Spring Boot 2.0, you have to be use Kyox Monkey for Spring Boot version 2.0.x series. So these are the support given by the Spring Boot to add the Kyox Monkey dependency in your Spring Boot application. Watcher. Watcher is a Kyox Monkey for Spring Boot component. It will scan your application for a specific type of annotation. With the help of Spring AOP, Kyox Monkey recognizes the execution of a public method and will either not execute any action or start one of its assaults. You can customize this behavior by using configuration. So these are the watchers. Controller, REST controller, service, repository, component. These are the annotations will scan by the Kyox Monkey Spring Boot Watcher. Assaults, uh, latency, exception and app killer. Latency represents it will provide the latency of your API response. Exception, it will give you a random Java exception, runtime exception. App killer represents it will kill your application. So this is the basic model, how does it works. So there is a five annotations, controller, repository, service, risk controller and component. So those annotations will be scanned by the Kyox Monkey Watcher. Controller Watcher, Repository Watcher, Service Watcher, Risk Controller Watcher and Component Watcher. So all those watchers are communicate with the assault, latency assault, exception assault, kill app assault. So by default, service annotation i mean the service watcher will scan the service annotation and then the latency is default and then is a demo spring boot application i am going to show you a demo for you so here i return user service product service and telephone service three microservices are running in different port and then i return a gateway services so by using a gateway services, I consumed three services response, user service, product service and telephone service. While consuming for the three services API, I just added the asterisk to determine the response status, I mean response timeout. So look at here, this is a user service running in 4431 port. It returns the response and product service also is running and then this is the 
response of this API and then this is the telephone service this is also running in 4433 port and is also giving a response and also the gateway API I have written that API will return I mean gateway service that start API will return the response of the three microservices I use the rest template to call three microservices and then look at the duration it's take only the 26 milliseconds and 36 milliseconds like that okay the response is always the response type is remote and always I am getting the response from the services it don't have any delay and everything so all the responses is coming very quick okay so now I am going to show you how I am consuming these three APIs in the gateway service application so look at here in the gateway risk controller the start API I am consuming the three APIs telephone service product service and user service by using a future Java util concurrent future and then all those three APIs I am calling by using a rest template by using a strix so in this strix I mentioned the timeout and then the rest template and then the URL and then this is the run method it will call our API and then as return the response and then it is a fallback method and then this is the API response model okay so look at here so every future operation I set it as a model I mean I'm just extracting the data and also I'm setting the duration here okay so the next thing so this is the response I am getting while eating the start API the API response object okay so now I am going to show you how I implemented the Kiox monkey in the microservices. Kiox monkey should run in all, uh, all the three microservices telephone, product service, and uh, user service. So look at here in the builder variable file, I just added the Kiox monkey dependency, and then in the application.yaml file, I set the spring profile, the active profile as a Kiox monkey. And then below I may represent I added the Kiox monkey properties. Kiox monkey enable property should be true to run your application as a support of Kiox monkey and then the latency range is milliseconds, short range and end range, and then the latency active, exceptions active, and kill active application active. So and then the watcher is the risk controller controller service repository and component in this demo I am going to show you uh, the rest controller and then the with the latency okay so I am going to hit API in the user service or telephone service or product service application so the default latency is uh, active so that uh, if you eating any API the response will take more time okay the minimum range I mentioned uh, 3000 milliseconds in the strict command the fallback timeout I mentioned uh, 2000 milliseconds okay I am just uh, adding a Kiox monkey dependency I am just setting a active profile as a Kiox monkey in all the microservices I mean that uh, user service, product service and telephone service. So if you want to run your uh, Kiox monkey in your Spring Boot application, you have to add these two steps. You, first step is you have to be add the dependency and then the active profile is the Kiox monkey. And then these are the Kiox monkey properties you can configure based on your uh, requirement. So in this case, I am going to it the risk controller API with the latency okay so I just added the 
Kyox monkey dependency and then the active profile set as a Kyox monkey in all three microservices. I'm just uh, again rebuilding those services user service, telephone service, and then the product service. In this example, I used uh, Gradle, so I'm using a I mean I'm taking a build by using a Gradle clean build command okay so after you build is successful you have to be run the jar file by using the command java if and jar I'm just uh, starting all the three microservices user telephone and then the product services telephone also I started okay so once the service is started you can see the Kyox monkey banner in your console Kyox monkey ready to do a will Kyox monkey for spring boot okay so now I am going to hit the API previously it took the duration 26 milliseconds now look at here it took 3000 15 milliseconds but I got the only product service response other two service responses I am it's not coming because the latency is working okay so again I am going to hit the API so now those user service and product service response is not coming now the telephone service response is coming okay now this time it took 3003 milliseconds again I am hitting the API so 3001 milliseconds took but the user service response is not coming product and telephone is available okay so you can see the response type is coming from a remote or fallback okay so those all the services I mean the API returns the response uh, based on the latency range and then the latency active is true so if you want to check it out uh, check out the exception and kill application you, you, have, you can have to set the attributes as a true I'm just checking the risk controller with the latency okay so again I am hitting the API so look at here now this time all the three is our file so in this case you can test your application in the production so how your application behaves in the production you can verify it by simply adding the spring boot uh, kyox monkey dependency and then uh, the properties thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel like my videos and share my videos thank you